Hello and how are you? My name is Mohind Ambar and welcome to our other lecture of creating a complete um, marketplace system uh, on both platform of uh, mobile applications that is iOS and Android and web application for the administrator as well as the as well as the um, the admin dashboard so that's what we're going to be you are that's what we are doing at this moment so today we're going to proceed from where we stopped at in the previous lecture in the previous lecture remember we stopped at the logic of uh, working with images so today we're going to proceed from there i'm going to work with um, image uploading and you see how we can handle that okay so without wasting much time let's go straight into our today's business so let me go ahead and start our timer we'll always do 40 minutes so i'll start our timer and then i'll open my visual studio code and launch our project which is market link you can see it's already there so after doing so i uh, will go ahead and uh, uh, open it in the browser which is this one and then come and click and say localhost stroke market link sorry local stroke market link okay so there let's go and serve it php at sun serve php at sun serve and then you can just simply come here and put one two and then the project is there let me go ahead and log in. I don't know which logins are working. Hope are these ones. Let me try this. Admin. Uh, let's go ahead and get the logins from the portal. Market link. Here it is. I'll go ahead and uh, get the login from users. Alright, so this is the user and uh, we have uh, what we have um we have um uh, we have we have we have this first admin let me use this one and, uh, there we go four three two one yeah there you go all right so right now we want to work on the logic of uploading the photo on this platform uh so i'm going to we're going to go through it step by step so first of all let us see what we had in the images we already had the images uh, uh we had that we already have the image what the image um table i believe so if i come in the table database and then come to market link you'll be able to see that we have image i think image is not there it's not there so let's go ahead and do the logic of uh, adding a local image so uh, images will help us to sync um, the project I mean the image module will help us to sync the uh, offline image with the online images okay and it will help us to make sure that everything is what is in the same page something like that all right that must it let's go ahead and uh, do the model of images so I'll open my project here and then you'll find that i have here uh what i have um, a file that i use for storing my commands then i'll come here and create another model that i'm going to call uh image okay like i said maybe um, image model or i can call it image i believe there is no much class with an image okay so let's call that image uh so this image um i think there are, let me see if there's any class called image see there are so many classes called image they can conflict us so let's just call this one uh image model to make it simple and straightforward so i just say php at sun make image model and then i put a dash and then uh, an m so to make migration so i'll copy that and then go ahead and open the second terminal and run it so i'll press ctrl and click on this to go to that image tab so here it is so what i'm going to do here i'm going to add uh some what i'm going to add some column that i want here for example uh this image can have a name so it's going to be text 
have to have the name like the title the image and let's make this one enable uh, that can be enough i think <laughs> that can be enough for now uh, let's go ahead and add so this image we make another text and we say it will have um local id i mean local local id so this local id will help us to uh to do what to to identify the image that has been uploaded from localhost you'll see its advantage when you proceed someone wants to do any class all right so we put local id um we go ahead and put um we go ahead and put maybe it's uh local path local path and then we go ahead and put maybe its thumbnail thumbnail path and then go ahead and put it's maybe src src to be now like uh, the what it will be the src it will be src it will be the src it will be the the online path of the online link i think that's enough maybe you can also go ahead and put maybe um online path online path uh, how we made it that one so this src will be the link or the path or the the image uh or the link for the image or the url for the image i think i don't need that one online path can be enough uh what else do we need um now we can go ahead and put the online id or can put maybe the parent id so the parent id is where the image will be referencing okay like uh, the id for the reference where the pro i mean for example the product id and the rest it will be allow the reference where this image is is referencing okay the online id you can see i've added it here so this one you can make it maybe big integer because for us we are using integers um the big integer like that and make it nullable and then we can also maybe create here another column and call it uh give it string okay string and then say maybe type of the image yeah, so that is uh the type of the image okay and then lastly we can add upload status and upload detail okay so we can add upload status and upload detail details okay so this uh, can be a string as well the status the upload status all right so lastly is the uploaded by i think it's uploaded by now uh, uploaded by i think that can be enough i think that can be enough for us to get started okay that can be enough for us to get started i don't know that i wrote the word model properly i have used models it's supposed to be model with an l at last here model i think let's fix that before even proceed so make this uh, class name to be model i think that's the correct spelling i mean like that so make sure that you put both classes on the correct so i think that's it i think that's enough for us to get started so the image will have the name or the title then it will have the the what the lock id it will have the integer owner and then the and also maybe also here this is the image local id the image local id the images uh local id so you may also have um for example now this image let's say let's call it some parent online id because this image will be belonging to to a to a certain product or a certain review or a certain thing so i can also put here now another thing called uh uh this is local on local id so this one can be parent online id so i can also put here parent local id i'll explain this as i proceed parent local id so these will be unique things so local ids make them text and totally text okay this one can be integers uploaded by id this one can make this one like text uploaded by id all right let me explain everything uh, here now uh so the name of the image it will be like a nickname of the image 
parent ID, online parent ID, it will be the parent ID for the for that image. For example, if it is a product, you now the product ID then that will be here. Local ID, it will be the ID, identification ID of the image that will be local, offline, the offline image that is locally offline. This parent uh, parent local ID, it will be like the local ID for the parent. Let's say that you are uploading a product and this product we are want to first uh, work with it offline, then later we upload it. So that local ID that we are referencing, that one will be stored in it there. As then we shall have uh, uh, Uploaded by ID. This will be the ID of a person who uploaded the image. Then we shall have um, a type of the image, whether it is a, a product image, whether it is a, a review image, whether it is a profile photo, something like that. And then maybe we shall have here uh, the local path. The local path is the path of the image, why it is the original path of the image, the original path of the image. So this thumbnail path, it is the thumbnail like. A well cropped, uh, a well compressed image, like a very very compressed image. But it can be like a thumbnail image, maybe the thumbnail path. I don't know whether we need it, but we can do so. We can just have it there, and then we shall have um, we shall have uh, we shall have after having the local the, the the local path of the image, then we shall have the thumbnail path. Uh -huh, and then we shall have the the what we shall have the um, the online path uh, this is now they like the the path where the image is stored online and i don't think we may need this online but you can have that one there and then here we shall have now the the so i can put maybe the online image path and then we can put here online uh, thumbnail path thumbnail path okay like thumbnail a smaller image and then this one is the upload status whether it has been uploaded successfully or not and then this is the detail like the detail telling about the image so that is the column that i think we need and you're going to see how we're going to make use of them each of them use of each of them so the owner id will put it there it is already there so let's go ahead and generate and migrate so I'll open my terminal right php and migrate and then you see we have successfully migrated so after doing so uh, then it means that we have now our model we have now our model there so let's go ahead and now uh work on the logic of uploading the image so i'm going to go to our api api so this is our api <laughs> you know how i design this api so we even have one for image uploading file uploading i think yeah, we have one for file uploading, uh, but this one we did it without having a lot of a lot of considerations. However, we can do another one again. We can do another image uploading. So this is file uploading. We can leave this one for files. Let's create now one for image uploading. So this one is going to be just much more like the file uploading. So if you have the code that I've shared with you, this file uploading, you already have it. Now, proceeding from there, I'm going now to create an image uploading ID. I mean an image uploading, okay? An image uploading logic. So I'll go ahead and duplicate this one and call this an image uploading. And then I come here and change this one to image uploading. Image uploading. This one will deal with images or the photos. Uh, so after doing so, I'll go ahead and create now this function for image uploading. It's going to look much more like uh, this... Um, file uploading so i press control and click on it so i can access it so here we are this is our file uploading so we have the file uploading logic here all these things we have it so i'm going just to explain them step by step so let's duplicate this one i've duplicated this one and then i'm going to change this one to uh, file uploading okay file uploading so first things first i'll need to get a person who is uploading the image so i can get this logic here and i put it here just i'm going to put it here so I'll first get the person uploading the image okay let me come and put this one here so and then at this point i can die and say uh here or can say maybe good to upload something like that all right so there we go now after doing so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and do what let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and uh, 
open our postman just for testing before we go to the mobile app let's open our postman and test the uploading logic so i'll go to our postman i'll open postman here it is and this postman i'm just going to create a new project i mean new uh, a folder i can call it project so i'll first begin by creating the environment so the environment is going to look much more like the inventor track environment that we are using which one is this one i can just duplicate it but i'm going to, to to explain everything so after you've downloaded this software of postman okay so go ahead and come to environments uh, this is a post a software called postman i've already explained it before so come and click on environment and then enable this one so come and rename this one i'm going to call this one for example i'm going to call it um i'm going to call it market link so here uh this market link here we're going to have the url of the project so we are serving this url of course so it, this is almost the same so i can keep it there and then after i'm going to uh we're going to have the user id and the company id uh, just a minute all right okay So after doing so, all right. So uh, we're going to have this image uploading there. So uh, in this, you see the variable that I put here. We have the link of the project, the user ID, and the company ID. So I'll come now to our collection. I'm going to create a new collection which is going to come here new and then i'm going to call this one um, a blank collection and i'm going to name it as what as market link so i already have the image i'm just going to explain it so i'll drag and drop and put here the market link here so here the market link the market link um uh collection i uh have -huh. so you create a first link there so to create a link just simply come here and say uh add a request here and add a request add a request there so after doing so i'll come here to the link and i make it to become a post make it post then come here to other is body and then here we're going to point so we're going to put your url so i mean that the url of market link will be substituted here so just make sure that you own the market link uh environment that is set is how you do it so after doing so after setting the market link to be the default link so come here and post and change this link the is pass this default i mean this method to be post and then come here and change this one to be url so to put the url just simply uh open bracket times two and then say url and then close it times two so this url is going to reference the environment path that you put there if you still remember in the environment here you have this url okay so it's going to be substituted here automatically so after doing so i'm going to go ahead and now uh, put image uploading so i've just come into what we have this the api here i'll come and get this image uploading and then come and uh, put it here so after doing so after doing so i'll come here to whether is body and then here i can just simply attach a photo for example i can say maybe file or image so you can say photo and then after saying photo you go ahead and select the photo that you want to upload so i can just simply come and say here new photo from machine for example i can take this one i can take this one that's the photo that i want to upload all right so i can save now after doing so i'll go ahead and say send so it says send to give me an response a response you see an authenticated meaning that i'm not logged in so let's see how we authenticate here so i'll come here to uh, uploading and then you see i'll have get user so try to get a user through the user we are getting it from the what from the anything that has logged in user that's what we get okay 
and then you get the user and then we turn back so this is inside the utils okay so it means that you have to pass the user id here so if i want to pass the user id of a person who is logged in uh, so i can go ahead and say image uploading and then i come and change i come and change uh i mean i come and add on this body come and add logged in user and then i go ahead can put in the head i hope no okay let me come here in the body and come and add login user and then go ahead and i do what i attach the id of a person who is logged in for example i can say logged in user to be one so we can, we can if we can come here to our environment see in our environment we have user id so the user id that you can use right now is one let's put here so one and then you go ahead and substitute the other side so if i come back here you can say login user and uh, i go ahead and substitute this one with user underscore id now after doing so i can now go ahead and try to click on submit you see we are here or at this point all right here now so here we have a, fun a function that you created it's called file upload okay so it we put it in the utils so i'm going to go there and explain that uh function so let me go ahead and uh, press cotton and click on file upload so in this file upload we first check if there is a file so you see in this file upload we just uh send to it a file called photo so this one is just literally um uploading one a single image so you see we are passing it to it a file called photo so it means that also in uploading you have to attach something i mean the name of a file has to be called a photo and then you upload okay so you see here a photo is one that has a file so i'll go ahead and uh, press on control and i mean control and click on file upload so we are passing to it a file so we check if the file is null we return nothing so return an empty string so if it is not null we go ahead and get the file extension okay the extension of the file after getting the extension of the file we get the time so this time will be the seconds at this time and then we get the random what we get the random uh the random numbers so it will be very hard to get a number that's going to be the same as the other person if we are randoming like this so i get the random number between this number and this so it's going to be a very big chance for you it is almost a no chance that these numbers can be the same okay so it is getting the seconds and at the same time you're getting a random number between these two i hope this random number is not too much so after doing so we we'll go ahead and attach the file extension and we make sure that you put the dot so this can be appended to this one so you can have a file name which, which has a file extension then i go ahead and get the public path so public path is um laravel uh laravel what laravel helper that will help you to get the, the location where your project is stored and then i attach their storage and then say images so here it will get for us this location of uh, to get to us uh, this location of public path then storage then images so our images will be coming here so after doing so i come back i go ahead and say now upload the image however on the front of this uh, main path attach the other word images so i say images so you just simply say move and then say images so you get the file name and the title word images in front because we are putting the folder called images and then return back the url okay so we know if it fails we shall return back the empty thing if it successfully does it you return back the url so let's go ahead and now try that so if i come back now to our api this was a utils function you can pause it and look at it so it is a static function in utils class okay utils class it is here and in the model I uh, have now and see how I call it. So here I so here I call the path and then after I go ahead and get the path and they say file uploaded successfully. So uh if it fails, if it the path is, is empty, I just say file fail to upload file. Okay. So if it if it successfully uploads it, I go ahead and get the, the file path where the file has been uploaded and return it back. Okay, and return it back. So that is how I can do that. Uh, however, 
we can do better than this uh, right now now we have impl we implemented the what the images so let me go let me first uh, check this if it's on if this one is going to work so if i go ahead and click on submit you'll see file uploaded successfully and if i come now to our files folder which is here under public under resources under images you see our file is here it has been it's a, it has been uploaded all right hope you can see that so that is nice now let's go now back to the logic that I want to input there we want to be able to sync the images that are offline the one that are online so what we're going to do right now uh, is to is to come to our images maybe we forgot to add the image size but you can get some field work and be keeping the image size so come here to our images uh, what are images images models here and then get these eh, the things are so many <laughs> and then get these what these columns i copy them and can back, come back here so you see those are that are necessary and you do the validation and then we must have it once so there you go you can just simply first put them here get this empty space control f alt and enter and then cut them okay so just nothing that has been done just getting the columns of the email that you want so all right the id we don't we might not need it the id might not need it we don't need it in fact um uh, we don't need the id okay so credit ad update that you don't need it uh the name of the image the name of the image it is optional we can leave it for example the name of the image you can leave it uh local id local id is required okay let's go local id let it be required so that when someone is uploading you should be able to know their local id so if we check if it's not set the local id so i go ahead and say uh, uh local id equals to and then say all right dot get and this is local id so i check if local id is is uh, null is equal to null or its string is less than five our local id will always be bigger than five characters or bigger than six characters so if its character is less than five then you shall say local id is required you return back the error and say local id is required so this class error can press control and click on this to see the error that how it is returned so the local id is required just in case not provided uh parent local id let it also make let us also make that one required because we might need to know how the parent is being identified in the bottom i mean in the on the mobile app so let's get the local parent id this will be the unique id of the parent so if the parent id is also null or um less than six the local id of the parent is less than six we can also say uh uh, parent local id parent id is required parent local id is required aha uh -huh. then we have this one is done this one is done aha uh -huh. then we come to parent online id this one is optional because someone can upload before they upload the product online aha uh -huh. uploaded by of course they uploaded by we already have already validated the user then the type maybe this type we should also make it required so the type of the image let us make it required and check if its length is less than maybe three okay then we say the type is required okay maybe you can make it less than four all right I'm less than five because the word null can be one <laughs> five okay let's make it less than five so that product has pr so that product has more than six all right so after doing that after doing that um uh, what next what next we go ahead and get the local path uh the local path the local path the local path is the um, the local path uh the local path the local path the local path is going to be the um, the path of the image i don't think we need it online it is optional and then the thumbnail path is the path of the thumbnail I don't think that we need it also online that is also another op that is also optional however you can see how we do the logic of uh, adding a thumbnail on 
and a product something like that okay shall look at it let me just put start here aha uh -huh. then um the online image path this is like the src it will be generated and then we have online thumb path it's also on generated okay maybe we can have now the upload status this is offline and the upload details this is also offline so maybe upload details we can go ahead and get the image size so let's go ahead and get the file path all right, so let's here we can put maybe the size, we can be storing the size of the image there. All right, so let's go ahead and now start. Uh, so after validated those uh, three, let's go ahead and now start uh, uploading. So we go ahead and upload the image. So it cut this and I come and put it on top. Here. So if it successfully passed through that, then I know that it has successfully uploaded. Uh, now the next thing is now to upload the image okay is now to upload the image so since uh, we are storing since uh, we have the online path the local path you might not need to upload the image twice something like that okay so we can check if the image has come for the second time we just say the image is already uploaded okay we can do all that but before we go there let us first begin with the first things first Alright, so uh, what you're going to do right now, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do what? I'm going to, uh, uh, so okay, let's, let's, before we even upload, let's first check uh, the path. So you can just simply say, um, duplicate image. So shall we do that? We shall just simply say, uh, we just simply say, get the image where image model don't you have that class oh you don't have that class so much. let me rename this so it shall come to this image model this one and rename it rename it to the correct spelling and rename the file first and make sure that you come and name here the class name accordingly all right so yeah that's it all right so let's come here and say image uh, model so where so I, I put here the conditions and then i put here uh, the local id is there and then the the what the local path um parent okay the parent and then maybe upload it by maybe you can also upload it by it should be the same person by id so you get the same user so if you do the same thing if all these are the same then we shall just know this is a duplicate of a what of an image most especially when the local id is the same then you can know that this is a duplicate image you may turn you might even remove this condition all right all right type of the local id parent local id yeah also they are the same just know that they are the same so we just check if this one is not null we can just send back the error and say image is already uploaded or can just send back success and just say image is already uploaded just spend send back success so that can be say image already uploaded then you can maybe pass here data so this success has a space of data i hope yeah it has data so we pass the data so success so success it has data all right and uh, messages all right so okay yeah so how is sending the success we give data all right all right let's instead of sending this let's send the data as the, as the first parameter so the data let's be the the duplicate image itself just in case it is there and then we say uh file upload successfully and then we return you don't go beyond that in case the it's a duplicate yeah in case the duplicate All right we proceed um we proceed we proceed we proceed we proceed 
Uh -huh. So we proceed now, let's go ahead. So here a file has been uploaded. After it has successfully uploaded, then go ahead and create a new file. So new image equals to what? Equals to new image model. Uh, all right, so after doing so, we go ahead and uh, start initializing. So our name, it can, name it, we can get uh, the file name that the person uploaded from online, I mean from their local uh, computer or a house that can be named I have go ahead and get its local ID so the local ID should be, should be provided aha uh -huh, so that is done I remove what I finish here aha uh -huh, then the online the parent ID the parent ID the parent local ID we have already got it there okay so after doing so we go ahead and say upload it by upload it by Uploaded by we get the person who uploaded it it will be uid so that is done uploaded by it's done local id it's done and then parent online id so parent online id we shall put it just in case it is there parent online id so if this person uploaded the parent online id then, then it is okay if this is not there then we just ignore it uh, the type of the image it is there so we proceed now the local path of the image um, becomes the path of the file you can do that as well it is okay and then the thumbnail path you can make it the same for now let us um, leave the thumbnails let us first concentrate on the real images however we can see now how we'll be generating the thumbnails from on from online let's first concentrate on this one uh, this one can be null for now and then this the local path is has already been finished and then the thumbnail path and then you can also make this one null for now okay that's done all right so let's go ahead and uh, put the online online image path those and might not need it online image path might not need it we shall use it on the on the offline and then also the online thumbnail path we make it offline or null and then the image status uh, the image upload status we make it maybe pending for if it is just uploaded and then the um, details let's get the image size so let's get the image size here uh, image size in mbs okay so how can we do that just simply get the public path and then this is we don't need to add here uploads we just need to put the path in the public i hope it will be able to get for us okay here it is image path and then you go ahead and calculate the size okay yeah i think that's okay if it doesn't we shall find out again the reason so that's what you put in the details for now mm -hmm. that's done this is done this is done this is done all right so there we go there we go um yep so that is okay so after after doing so after doing so uh we go ahead and save okay and save okay let's go ahead and and save so it saves successfully you can again go ahead and collect it from the database afresh and then we go ahead and send now the the response okay so you pass the image and then you pass the, so the the message so the image data and then the message so that's it so i can pause the video and you look at it so you can understand it i've done it very carefully this method that is going to be very important even even in project beyond this now let's go ahead and upload so you see local in local path local id is required so let's go ahead and get here some uh, so let's get local ID, local ID, or is it local ID? So here I can just we can't put local ID. So I put so many things that are unique. So I upload uh, parent local ID is required. So we go ahead and get the parent local ID. I come and put it here, and also put other unique things. Okay. So I upload. Type is required. So type we can keep it as a product image. Okay. So I can just maybe keep them all of them capital letters. Uh, product pro 
product all right product so submit so you see <coughs> it has failed to get the file size all right it has failed to get the file size of the path let me see market link and then we have uh okay the word storage wasn't there so let's see so here we have you see the problem is the word storage is not there so it's supposed to be storage then image let's see how we had it here on the upload itself let's come to utils so i come to where there is a file upload it is supposed to be path then storage so we not add the add storage here so let's go ahead and add storage here when you're getting the size or is size so it is here so on path we just add there size storage like this hope that is okay let's go ahead and upload now so you see file uploaded successfully and you can see that uh, the file size is here that is in kind of bytes let's convert it to mbs so i can just say convert size to mbs put it here on top here say convert to mb so i can just simply say divide by 2 and 4 uh, so that will be converted by mb so you can be able to see that all right you can add the word mb if you want let's go ahead and submit so we have to change the name here so you can see it is 1.3 mbs and it has uploaded successfully so that is very fine that is very fine uh mean that you can now upload a product successfully our photo successfully using the api and i hope you can push until this one is successful because uh, it might demoralize you now in the next lecture we're going now to link this one with our user interface we're going to link now what we have just done here with the mobile application you see how now <coughs> how we can um, upload uh, this image that is being picked from the phone and upload it to what to the online version that's what we're going to do in the next lecture so make sure that uh, you are part of it and make sure that you don't what that you don't miss all right that's it for today unless there's a question yeah unless there's a question and if there's a question, if there's no question, uh, we meet tomorrow in the next lecture. Good night. So, I have a question. Are you even there? <laughs> All right, guys, see you tomorrow in the next lecture.